S O C K S. This is what it is. Okay. Sometimes you change your mind and you gotta go <laughs> with the flow. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. What it do? What it do? Back again. Coming through. Who that is? Ain't nobody but Sumi Sue. Trying to do the do. Um. I'm a little frustrated, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, but you know what, we gonna proceed with the video in its natural format. <laughs> Child, I'm stumbling in my words. Listen, we gonna jump right into it, okay? So today's hair is by Icy. Icy Young, this is what it looks like. This is a 26 inch water wave unit. I did do some curling, not a whole lot, you see what I'm saying? Um, just to kind of play with it a little bit, did a little half up, half down type of thing, you see what I'm saying? Little whoopty whoop shibbity, boop, boop, boop. Okay, really love the hair. It is super full and fun and you see what I'm saying? Like it's just a really good summertime type of vibe, island girl type of vibe. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run the clip right here. For all the information on this unit, make sure you check out the description box. Everything will be linked down there for you. Okay, so let's go. Okay, everything will be linked down below. Really, really fun hair. Really do like it. It's all of that and a bag of chips. Okay. I want to do another look using the Juvia's Place bronzed products. Okay. Normally, whenever we get this stuff, we use it one time for the video and then we put it down, especially being a beauty, you know, connoisseur and a beauty blogger. You see what I'm saying? Like we get a lot of stuff and we kind of put stuff down and neglect it. I don't want to do that with this collection. I want to have some more fun with it. So you're going to be seeing it again in this video. Okay, so today is also going to be a Juvia's Day video. This is not a sponsored video. The last video was, but not this one. Okay, yes, let's zoom in. 
so we can get the plant. Okay. <laughs> okay, so for my base, I'm gonna be using the number two primer by Juvia's Place. And it's basically like a tan shade, not far from what I normally use. So you do have to shake it up because it might settle in there. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna put this all over the lid and I'm also gonna use this to add, oh, that's way too much. I need to, this, this could do both eyes. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, child. I am not here. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this also as a concealer to clean up under my brows, basically. Okay, I had to pin my hair back because it was just in the way. And I needed to take that thing off because my circulation was being cut. Okay, girl. The things we do to ourselves to look gold. <laughs> okay, okay. So, okay, so, 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 what am I gonna do? I wanna play with this palette one more time, okay? For my crease color, I'm gonna go into the darker shade. I think I'm just gonna stay in the neutral area today. I'm not gonna go into the color, definitely. I wanna do a different look with this. Like I said, I wanna kinda do like a leopard thing, so it's probably gonna be like a little cut crease action. Okay, so first I'm gonna go into the dark chocolatey shade, and I'm gonna start to create my crease and all of that good stuff. Okay, so in order for me to get my crease looking, you know, perfect, I need to look straight into my mirror. So I like to hold it straight out and look straight on. That way I can see where my crease is supposed to be. So I'm gonna really try and get this to be perfect today. Okay, so that looks good. And for, I wanna deepen up the crease a little bit, you know, get a little transition going. So I'm still gonna, I'm gonna go back into the actual bronzer palette and use the darkest shade in here which is that bottom shade right there so I'm trying to get me a little teeny blender brush girl I cleaned all of my brushes it is truly like the best feeling ever okay so I'm gonna take that I'm gonna take this dark shade down here and we gonna do that too okay okay I'm gonna go back into that lighter brown and just start to do my blending just to kind of get that transition going. You know, you want your look to look nice and clean. Okay, y'all. Yeah. And for the leopard print, I think I'm just gonna draw it on top of this area after I get the, the crease situated. I need a steady hand. I cannot talk to y'all while I do this. Okay, so I actually like how this really looks and I'm in here changing my mind in the middle of the game. Y'all know how this thing go, okay. So I was gonna use a shimmer, but now I feel like I just wanna use this color right here and put that all over the lid and just keep it matte. So let's do that, okay. S-O-C-K-S, this is what it is, okay. Sometimes you change your mind and you gotta go <laughs> with the flow, <laughs> okay. Okay, so I really like how everything is looking. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of the actual primer and just close off my lower lash line and I'm gonna use that same dark chocolate shade to do so okay okay so I decided not to back out of my original plan <laughs> I'm fighting okay work with me I am going to do the leopard look uh, I think I'm gonna do like the black as the liner and then to fill it in I'm actually gonna use like a shimmery shade some glitter or something but for now I'm going to start to draw the black liner with an actual black watercolors I got this the other day because I really really want to do some you know face art stuff type of you know something so this is basically finger paint as you can tell on the side there washable finger paint so it's safe and everything like that so everything is activated. I absolutely love that. It won't dry out too easily because everything is tightly sealed. So if you're into that type of thing, maybe you can try this out, okay? Because that's exactly what I'm finna do, okay? Instead of buying the actual like makeup makeup, it, this was just cheaper and it was the easiest thing that I could get like right away and I could actually get here in Japan. Okay, so. To fill it in, I'm gonna be using the Stila Liquid Shadow and this one is called Smoldering Satin. And I'm also gonna to, like top it up with the OPV Liquid Liner. This is actually like a really fine glitter liner, but it comes off really opaque, so I'm gonna use that as well. So, 
let's get a picture in front of us so we know what we're doing changing my mind again i just remembered that i recently got this liquid eyeshadow this is a i think a korean brand if i'm not mistaken it's called 16 brand but it's a lot redder compared to the stila so i'm gonna go for this because i feel like it will you know do the do 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 okay so i'm actually gonna stop right there because i really like this i like how everything is looking <laughs> okay let's do the do all right so now let's throw on these lashes and let's zoom out so we can show out and my lashes today are by flutter lash intoxicating intoxication of a certain kind oh I will admit that you suit my mind, yeah. Conversation of another kind. Every time I grab this, I think about Gentleman. I think about that song. If you don't know that song, you need to go and Google it and listen to some good reggae music. Okay, okay so I already moisturized, already primed. I'm using the Nivea cream to moisturize and the mil Milk Hydro Grip thingamajiggy to prime, okay? <laughs> Girl, okay, don't pay this no mind. I'm trying to film my videos with Instagram included. So there's a format to the madness and I don't wanna include the paint pot in there because well, it doesn't really look so good in them short clips, okay? Right here, it's I'm teaching, I'm showing, so I'm gonna keep it a little bit more real. Make sense? Okay, so for my creasing around my mouth, I'm gonna go in with the bric-a-brac paint pot by mac and this is just going to honey keep that face looking flawless all day and color correct at the same time i'm going to continue with my foundation i'm going to do stuff the old school way okay because sometimes you just need to go back to basic okay i'm using the juvia's place foundation and this is in the color lagos so i'm going to go around this because this needs to dry so let's just do the other parts of the face i am going to go in with my concealer and contour i'm going to be using 12 and number four to handle my business okay Okay, so it is time to set the face. I'm gonna go in with Kalahari under the eyes and I'm gonna be using Namib all over the face. Okay, so to contour my nose, really been loving the tan bronzed palette bronzer palette and i'm going to be using the lightest shade and that's just going to give me the most beautiful tint and nose contour it is such a pretty color and it's not harsh so i think i found my new favorite nose contour color because for my nose contour i like it to be soft but i want it to be sculpted not red just the same color as the rest of my face just bringing that definition like that little bit of shadow back, you know. Okay, so it's time to bronzify. We still want to catch Papi's eye and I'm going to be using dark. And today I'm going to be mixing both of them because they really do complement each other. So I'm gonna go with the top one first and we just go, look at that. Really soft and pretty. Like they really did the do with this, okay. I like, look at that. That is so pretty. Okay, it's just, so complimentary it's so pretty now i'm gonna take the darker shade and just kind of lightly underneath okay do you see what i'm you see? okay okay for my blush hush hush y'all know how this thing go okay um really trying to branch out but it's not working okay <laughs> nail is boo okay and you don't need a whole lot this palette will last you a long time i have a second one and it's not open okay you know how long i've had this girl look at that beautiful okay little trick that i love to do whenever i apply my blush i'm always heavy-handed with it i it's just i don't know okay i like to take my powder brush nothing on it okay whatever is left in here is going to soften it up you see what's happening already so just pat over it that will sort it out and i like to go back in with my highlight powder nothing on the brush whatever is on the brush 
and just kind of tap right at the very edge where the blush and the highlight meets and that just softens it. Can you see the difference compared to over here? Like, it's the tricks in the trades, honey. I'm just trying to put you on. All right. And for a little bit of glow, you know how it go. We're gonna do Zara on the tip of the nose and down the bridge. Okay. Because that is what I like to do. Like, the whole highlighted face is not for me. It's just not. It's not. bomb top is cute okay matching the vibe um yeah make sure you check out icy here okay y'all already know if it ain't good here they're gonna make it on here okay so today i am going to be using the liquid lipstick in bronze chestnut which is the chocolatey one and i'm going to use this as a liner and in the center of this i think i'm just going to mix both glosses so the glosses are bronze sugar and bronze sugar is more of like a nudie nude type of thing and then you have bronze rose which is a little bit of a pink hue there you can tell the difference okay so let's get these lips popping look at these eyes this is so pretty um inner tear duct color what should we do do we do shimmer or do we keep it matte i think we keep it matte i'm gonna deal with that in a minute you know what let me deal with that now okay i'm gonna take a little bit of the primer and i'm actually just gonna dab my little pencil brush because everything is set here so if i'm trying to do matte i need to put a little bit of color down that mirror is covered Okay, so I'm gonna go into the Nudes palette, keeping it in the same family, JP, okay? And I'm going to take this shade up here. It is the truest nude out of everything in here because this one is a little bit pinky and I want a nude nude, okay? And we're just gonna pat that right on top. Okay, that's pretty. Now, back to the lips. Okay, so for my gloss, bronze rose, Okay, I was gonna set my face, but I changed my mind because I had I forgot to have all that liner going on up top there. And no, we don't want that to run or bleed or anything. So, <laughs> we done. Ooh. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really, really fun. Definitely got into my artistic side today. I really love how this came out. It came out perfect, like, okay. And the hair and everything, like, Yes. <laughs> if it is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe, join the tribe, come on in. We are a happy bunch and we like to keep it nice and positive in there. And every now and then I will come in and tell you what's going on in my life. And I hope you don't mind that. Okay. I am your host, Savannah Silver. Yeah. Follow me on all of my social media platforms, IG, Snapchat, TikTok. Everything is under Savannah Silver. And yeah, until the next video, take care of yourselves. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys real soon. It's only right, it's what I deserve Love, tell me what you done for me Done for me, done for me, done for me Lately, did your mind go on vacation? Leaving your affection for me at home Tell me what you done for me Done for me, done for me, done for me Lately, where's your heart? No more tears to cry I know that